December 2002. NASA's Landsat 7 satellite captures an image of the Antarctic ice shelf. Something about these stains doesn't add up. Scientists expand their investigation to include the possibility the marks could be linked to the local wildlife. The most likely explanation for what we're looking at here is some sort of ecological footprint. And there are many species in Antarctica. But Antarctica is home to one of the most unusual birds on the planet, the emperor penguin. Emperor penguins are amazing birds because they can live in this frigid wasteland and they find their food by swimming around in the sea and then they come back up and form these giant colonies where they have their babies. They group together, you know, to keep themselves warm. Biologists studying the distribution of the stains discover they line up perfectly with several vast colonies of emperor penguins made up of tens of thousands of individual birds. There's more recent satellite imagery that we have access to that's higher resolution where we can even count the number of penguins that we're looking at. The higher resolution images make it clear how the penguins are causing the brown stains. It really is amazing to me that what we're looking at here is penguin poo from space. It turns out that hundreds of thousands of penguins have left an indelible mark on the icy landscape in their poo. Today, scientists can use satellite images of the massive skid marks on Antarctica as a way of actually monitoring the resident penguin population. One of the things I find particularly remarkable is that if a group of birds can create enough guano to be seen from space, then that means that it's doing pretty well. Yeah. <laughs>